For manufacturers, profitability has always depended upon the orderly and efficient development, production, and distribution of its products. And while it's true that applications like CAD, CAM, and SIM have raised manufacturing efficiency, each has its own specific focus, each has its own unique view of the product, and each treats product data differently. The concept of product data management is evolving from several business perspectives and has adopted the techniques of many different information tools. PDM seeks to integrate and manage all applications, information, and processes that define a product from design to manufacture to end-user support and thereby increase enterprise-wide productivity. One, it's technology that provides a mechanism for managing data or information used to define a product within a manufacturing uh, operation. Now, managing data is one piece of the definition. The other side of it is, of course, the processes or workflows that are required uh, to manage this data through its life cycle, effectively managing the products through their life cycles. And this gets, uh, is involved with the definition and management of, of things like release processes or engineering change processes. These are all kinds of procedures inside our organizations that we use to effectively uh, release and produce uh, products for our manufacturing organizations today. Even though PDM systems store, manage, and control information that is used to define, manufacture, and support products, it's not the elusive paperless factory. So paperless factory is a concept that we're going to somehow operate in a way that all of our information is shared digitally. Uh, PDM isn't a, the concept of paperless factory, it is technology that's used to support it. From a functionality standpoint, PDM systems consist of an electronic vault or data repository, a set of utility functions, and a set of user functions.